President Trump and the Republicans, yes, they do plan to cut taxes across the board. And joining us now is Congressman Pete Roskam, Republican from Illinois and Tax Policy Subcommittee Chair. Congressman, welcome to the program. Great to see you. Thanks, Stuart. Great to be with you. Thank you. A lot of conservatives, a lot of people who want to see the economy get going, are very worried that we won't get the tax cutting program through until late summer. What say you? Oh, I say there's an urgency to this and there's timing and here's what we've got to be mindful of. We've got to move with dispatch and momentum and move forward expeditiously, but you can't jam tax reform. We know from the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, it was a disaster when they tried to jam it. Yeah. What we're trying to do is say, look, let's completely flip the game board and change this whole dynamic and come up with an entirely new tax system. But, we we're, gonna, but we're gonna repeal and replace Obamacare first that does take time. That means you can't really do tax reform until you finish it until July or August. And that's got a lot of people worried because that won't jumpstart the economy early enough. Uh, is it going to be July and August? Well, I think July and August, if we if we get this signed into law, July and August, that's 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 pretty quick. Um, so you think so it might be into the fall of this within... year? Because that's a real that's a shock no, for a lot of people. Look, here's what I think. I think that these things can happen simultaneously. So in other words, the work on Obamacare, repealing it and replacing it is happening. At the same time, you're seeing an aggressive move on tax reform. Tax reform went from being a total outlier concept a year ago to now more likely true than not true. So we don't have to wait for Obamacare repeal to do the work. And part of the retreat this weekend is doing the work, the ways and means and so forth is well underway. The Senate colleagues are engaging substantively with their vision of this. So I think I'm very upbeat, Stuart, based on what I've been hearing at this conference and this retreat, and also based on the disposition of the president, who says he wants to fundamentally reform this tax code. I think, it's up, I think it is imminent. I think it's upon us, and I think we get it done. Can you tell us if it's going to be backdated to January the 1st, 2017? So I don't think a decision has been made on that yet, and there's going to be a lot of other people that are going to have input. Here's what we want to avoid. We want to avoid anything retroactive that hurts people that they didn't anticipate. But if there's a backtracking benefit that we can do to this that makes it so that we get the tax cuts and the, and the energy out there earlier, we're all the better off. I think what a lot of people want is to know what we're going to get. Not necessarily wait until September, October when, we, when the president signs the bill, but if we knew what we were going to get in March, April or May, for example, then companies and individuals can act on that and adjust their future spending and investment. I think that's what people want. They want to know what are we going to get and they want to know as early as possible. I Is that accurate? Yeah, I understand that. That makes a, that, that, that's a fair point. So here's what we've been proposing, okay. to collapse these rates down at the individual level from seven rates down to three, highest rate 33, then 25, then 12, subsume a whole lot of the uh, small deductions into a larger standard deduction, keeping mortgage interest and charitable, reworking some of the issues as it relates to retirement and education savings and a child tax credit and an earned income tax credit, getting rid of the AMT, all of those on the individual side, and then on the corporate side, getting the rate down to 20%, having 100% expensing, and making some of these other changes to make us more competitive. That is transformational. And what we, I think, are recognizing, my district and all kinds of folks across the country are realizing this current tax code is a disaster. It is an island that is dissolving underneath us. We cannot stay on it because it's failing. We've got to move and we've got to move expeditiously. Uh, real fast, Congressman, I know you're from Illinois. Uh, in Chicago last night, uh, another six people were shot. They were attending a vigil for someone who'd already been shot. Uh, and Rahm Emanuel, the mayor of Chicago, basically wants some federal, federal money. You think he should get it? Look, I think the mayor should stick with governing Chicago. There is a real, uh, there, the, the, the heartbreaking nature of the crisis in Chicago is now worldwide news. And I think that, uh, you know, the mayor is getting into a tussle with the administration about sanctuary cities and so forth. I think he'd be much better off 
concentrating on the city of Chicago rather than opining on some of these other things. Uh, Pete Roscoe, look, thank you very much for taking time out. I know you're an extremely busy guy, and we do appreciate you being with us this Great morning. Great to so. be with you. Yes, sir. Thank you.